In studio with the uh, with the mogul, Michael Hornby, as a co-host, was a new last name now. Good morning, Roy. Yeah, I, I can't be the only non-vowel in the room, so so yeah. we're gonna we're gonna change the name for this segment since we got a Petrucci and yeah. a Mario. We got to have a horse so that's, that's <laughs> your, I just we, made it up. It was it's something. Can we focus just on a one shot of Mike Hornby right now, <laughs> Colin, so we can get the full beauty of his new last name? Yeah. We kind of made that up in the break. Yeah. I don't know that it actually flows or, or works, but it does end in a it, vowel. It, it's got lots of vowels. You look how many vowels in there. I, a lot I, should, of I should get a lot of love from you to, now, right? There's a lot going on there. I don't know. Let's, you let's, seem to treat the Italians much better than you treat the rest of us. I do. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, let's bring in one of those right now. In fact, and Mr. Tony Petrucci, Berkeley County Kirk, uh, Clerk. Uh, you. Tony, good morning. Thank you, Rob, for having me here again. What do you think about this guy's uh, move to the uh, Italian side of the world? Uh, I think it'll help him. Well, down the road with, with a lot of things. My wife cooks excellent <laughs> Italian. So. I would say, as much, as much uh, red sauce as you've had, yes. and I've had your wife's red sauce, uh-huh. I would say Homemade. that we could, we could yep. welcome you in. Oh, yeah. yeah. We <laughs> could bring you in. I could, I could definitely live in Italy. <laughs> Tony, you you got to taste Crush's baked ziti. What's that? you have to taste Crush's baked oh, yeah. ziti. you got to yeah. have some of this. Okay. Great lasagna, great baked ziti. Yeah, yeah. That's two of my favorite. <laughs> I'm getting hungry thinking about it right now. Yeah. Well, Tony, I went down and voted yesterday. I must say, I got to give you a lot, a lot of props. Uh, it was slower than I thought, but it went very smoothly. Um, your volunteers oh, did a great job. They explained everything perfectly. Uh-huh. Um, I, I thought the system worked very well. Well, we've the, the staff has been working on this very, very hard uh, for the past, you know, especially the last two or three months, especially getting uh, things set up there downtown and the uh, two satellite places. So we had 296 people voted total yesterday, which was a little low, in my seems, opinion. Yeah, it seems very but, low. But uh, we still have 10 more days to do that, um, and we'll see what happens. I, I, you know, it's going to take time for people to catch on. And, you know, down the road, two more years and then another two years, um, it should work uh, more. F- uh, now, do you have the same amount of uh, voting booths or, or voting computers at each location, or uh, no, is the some, main location a little bigger? Uh, exactly. If okay. we have a high, if we know by past experience we have a higher volume of people that yeah. vote, we have more machines and um, more people. We're required to have five people at each station anyway by state okay. code. So it all depends where it's at. Yeah. And what can you uh, tell us about? Uh... Well, you know, there's, there's a lot of things going on. Real quick, uh, of course, we just talked about early voting. It, 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 it goes to May 11th, so there's two Saturdays. Now, there, that's 9 to 5 on Saturdays. Okay. 8 to 5 during the week. Okay, some people uh, – the, the 9 to 5 deal was a state code, so we had to follow that. Um, but weekdays it is 8 a.m. 8, 8 to 5, yeah. yeah. Uh, now, when May 14th comes around, it's earlier, you know, like I think it's 6.30 to 7.30, so – for the one day mm-hmm. um make sure you bring your registration card to the polling place um it's just important and or, as, or an id right or an id okay either one um mr warner mentioned um earlier also you can go to uh go vote westvirginia.com you can look up your name your your name address if you have any questions where to vote that it, it tells you that or you can call our office at 304-264-19 or 16 16- 1989, I'm sorry. 264-1989. Got it. So um, that's where we're at with those little things. And and early voting, you can go to any of those locations, yes, correct? Yes, you don't it, have to pick no, the one. You, no. If you're driving through town, go that's to the one exactly downtown. Right. If you happen to be up in Spring The Mills, computer pulls yep. it up. It puts you in the right perfect deal. So just like you said, you could do that anywhere. And we're advising – you know, for the past two or three years, there's there's been some issues with the precincts that we're still working on, and and I'm not going to say that um, they, there might not be some problems with people coming to a particular place, and they should be somewhere else. But you can vote provisional. There's no problem voting a provisional ballot, which is um, something that goes through the computer, the, the the machine, and then it's put in an envelope, and then it's still counted at the end of the polling or at the end of the election process. Um, the only way it wouldn't be counted if you're not registered. So provisional isn't the, the best thing, but if you're not sure, 
call the office and they can tell you exactly where you should vote because there there were some issues in the past and there still might be some issues. Uh, it's been a long process with the I think Mr. Warner met, uh, mentioned about civics. It's it's very complicated uh, when they when they're moving the lines around in the precincts. Uh, the city had some issues too where they uh, they're called wards um, where they were changed. So we had to work with them and because their election's coming up with uh, June 11th. We actually let them. So city, but people that live in the city can, are still, you still want them to vote now mm -hmm. in the primary, and then they will have their own individual That's election correct. for their That's, offices in That's June, correct. correct, June 11th, yes. And we help them out with uh, machines. We let them use our uh, machine. I think they use about 11. Um, so anyway, uh, and the reason I say if you're unsure about checking where you're at, uh, you know, we had to go through 15,000, uh, voters to, to, to make sure that they were uh, correct and um, some might not still not might not be so you know I take full responsibility for that we've we've, we've just been working hard with it um, I know there was an issue with the cards that that came yes. up yes some people uh, showed me pictures of the cards and, they just got that were dated February when they yes were mailed. Uh, the former uh, voter uh, voter registration supervisor turned that in to the printing company um, I have no idea why what my my signature wasn't on there. I don't have a signature uh, uh, card, so to speak, because when I came in, I wanted to sign every check myself, mm -hmm. everything that had to do with county commission. I wanted to check, but um, in this case, you know, you need a, a signature. Sure, you got thousands uh, of cards. Why it wasn't on there, I, I can't explain that, but um, it wasn't. Um, we have a new uh, uh, voter registration supervisor now, uh, Miss Penny Dorsey. She does a, a great job. She's been there over 20 years, so I, I moved her up uh, to that position um, shortly after that. Was somebody removed from a position yes. as a result yes. of this yes. mistake? Yes. Well, uh, it wasn't just because of that. Um, it was sort of brewing, as you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, um, I had to make the decision to do that. Uh, so it, she, she's, she's a veteran, and she's got some good people working with her, and she's working real hard with it. So I, I felt confident, even though it was close to this election, um, sometimes you have to do what you have to do to make it work for the taxpayers. Tony, as the newly elected clerk, this is your first mm -hmm. election. Who are you consulting as you go along to make sure things are running as best as they can run? Well, uh, other than our office, uh, I've had numerous conversations with um, our state um, attorney, Mr. Deke. Mm -hmm. Deke uh, Kersey. You know, him, mm -hmm. he's a good guy. Great resource. Uh, actually, I called him about the card situation. You know, is it okay? He said, oh, yeah, it's, it's fine. And if they want it signed, just bring it into the voter registration and, and uh, office at downtown and you know somebody will sign it for them mm -hmm. uh it's some people use it for uh identification purposes so you know when it, when you see on there required mm. uh yeah it might be an issue with that but as far as voting there's no problem whatsoever uh, i followed up on that right away to make sure we were good with with that not being signed what percentage are you anticipating will turn out for this primary well, as of yesterday's, uh, uh, you know, 300, we'll say it was 296. I'm going to probably say 20%. That's, that's about the number I'm hearing, 20 yeah, to 25%. 20, and is that usual, Tony? Is that about normal well, for a primary? Um, what was the last primary? I can't tell you what the last primary was on percentage. Okay, it was 18, low. 18 to 20. Yeah, it, it was low. We only had in the... Well, last primary was an off year, yeah, so that's it, always less. In November of that of 2022, in the general, we only had 22,000 people vote, yeah. period. So I'm thinking probably lower than that. We have in, in, in the primary. How many registered voters are there? Yeah, in over 85,000. How many? About over 80, 85, 85, give or take. And mm. what percentage of those are? Any idea of the split between Republicans oh, and Democrats? I tell you, it's close. It's sort of uh, – Republicans are still higher. Um, the exact number I don't know off the top of my head, but uh, then there's the Democrat. But the independents has um, moved up. Number of independents? Yeah. Um, 
that's uh, registered to vote. And I know that's going to change here in 2026 for the Republican. You know, I, I'm going to guess you're going to see a lot more Republicans because of the closing of the primary. You're not going to be able to vote in a Republican primary unless you are a Republican. A absolutely. Absolutely. So after this general yes. election or any time along the way, I guess you can change parties. What's the process for changing your party affiliation? Well, you have certain dates uh, where by code that you can do that. Um I think it's already passed. You can't it change is, your yeah. primary now or your uh, voting registration now. But uh, there'll be there's certain times of the year where you can do that for the state, uh, which the next one will probably be. Yeah, I don't know what the next time will be, but it it's uh, it's allowed a couple times a year. So I know a person who works uh, as an election poll worker, and they are also working with early voting mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. I know the pay was raised to $300. Mm -hmm. So if you work early voting, do you still get that $300 for, for men in no, the polls you, early voting? You get so much an hour for that. For early voting. For early voting. So, you know, you're going to make some going to make more money than $300 cuz you know that they're working the whole week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's not I think it's 20 $25 an hour, I believe, maybe. And do they typically work the entire day? Mhm. Mm yes, um 8 to 5 or nine to five on Saturdays. And, yeah. po and but poll workers have to take a class first, do they not? Yes, we've had eight so far uh, at the old courthouse upstairs, second floor. We're, we're planning on having two more makeups um, because you have, to, you have to do that in order to be a poll worker. And how many poll workers do you think you'll still need for May 14? Do you have enough? Well, we, as of right now, they're telling me we do. Good. Yeah, yeah we have. You were about 100 short last we talked to you, right? Yeah. Yeah, we were. We need. Um, we have eighty precincts, five per precinct. So that's four hundred. We have some extra, we have extra people. You know, there's always somebody that some gets sick or can't do it or whatever. You so. have to have five, but can you have seven or eight if you? Well, yeah, we have. We actually at the woods we have like nine uh, people working there. I mean, it's a it's a heavy. I don't know. If we ever did it for the primary, <laughs> but uh, it's 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 pretty heavy during the, the November election and. There's hopefully when I, I'm going to go towards the commission and, you know, we, we need some extra equipment. Uh, I've noticed, um, you know, if you have nine poll workers and you have one e-poll book, which is the, the, where everything goes into, mm -hmm. um, we only have one. So gotcha. I'm and gonna, where does the, uh, the money come from for this? Is this from the state? Does the state reimburse you for uh, the poll workers, or does it come from the county? It's county. It counts county, county. county. Yes, it's part of your budget. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, yes, yeah, part of my budget. They're called contractors, actually. There you go. Contractors, and uh, they do a great job. Uh, I, I can't ask for any. any. And we've had uh, the, the county commission, the IT department, our county administrator has has worked with, with me constantly on this to try to make a, you know, whatever I needed within reason. <laughs> Tony Petrucci, our guest here, Berkeley County uh, Clerk. This will be his uh, first election that he's presiding over. Tony, what inf other information do you need to get out to our audience this morning? Well, just make sure you have your, your, your card or, or some type of identification. And if you show up at the wrong place because it's on the card, you, you, if, it's, if you're supposed to be across the street, I would recommend go across the street. But if you want to vote provisional, you can at that place mm -hmm. where you're at. But you just yeah. can't show up at the other place, too. No, 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 no. And and that's – you just vote like you normally would. It's put in an envelope after it's – you know, you're voted. You vote. And um, we have five days before canvassing, that which all the provisionals will be counted. And that's what goes to – uh, in front of the county commission decide whether you know there'll be provisionals here we accept and the ones here we won't and usually the ones we won't it's because they they weren't registered mm -hmm. so there's that happens sometimes i remember when i was a county commissioner we had some of that but not a lot i mean it was a completely different system with the, for some reason or another what are the rules in regards to campaigning near a polling station uh, signs uh, candidates handing things out how far would it be Got to be a hundred feet from the front door. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you could you could if the line was long enough, you could actually work the back of the line because if the line was more than a hundred feet long. Is a hundred feet long? I guess you could. It's gotta, you can't put a sign within a hundred feet of the front door of the voting place. Well, I know I've I've been at least a hundred feet away from a front door when I voted in the past. 
to stand in line. That, that would be interesting to test that theory. Mr. Hornby, yeah, I think, uh, official. I think we passed a couple of uh, new laws. Josh Holstein has a lot of electioneering uh, laws. I sit next to him. Uh, I know he was, uh, we passed one that said you couldn't hand out um, anything in the line. If you Period. In the, yeah. No matter how long. It doesn't matter how long. I like that rule. So uh, the, sign, pa- the signs one, part. Pass one where they can't text me either. Yeah, right. Isn't that, <laughs> isn't that a violation of your, your it seems like it should be it, 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 these text messages are driving me nuts uh-huh. but yeah I, that, I think it's uh, the signs is 100 feet yeah <laughs> Tony so. what uh, you mentioned about uh, a need uh, for some additional equipment and such what are the things do you need as you uh, come up to the general election to make elections well I, I think we're probably going to have to look well m- machines were probably okay we could probably get by until the next election but uh, the old the the, uh, the electronic poll book, which is the white machine you see when you vote, um, we're in need of those. I mean, right now I have no extra. Um, back at the woods, like I say, we have one, and we have nine people working. Mm-hmm. Uh, for November, that could be a slow. You know, it just slows the process up. So once this election is over with, I'm going to. Um, Go to the county commission and, and see. What, what does one of those electronic poll books cost? I, I could not tell you. Did Gary Wine and, and um, his IT and department. that's the one where, where you have to actually sign yeah. On, yeah. on the white. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They they, they take care of all that um, for us. I, I, as far as the costs, I couldn't tell you. I wouldn't, wouldn't want to guess. Very good. Uh, final thought before we go to our commercial break in regards to this primary election. If you election just time. have any problems, any questions about your card or where you're supposed to vote, 264-1989, please call, and our staff will help you as, as much as they can. Or you can call me, 676-2678, and, but they're, you're better off to call them. <laughs> and this is day two of early voting, which day concludes two. at the end of uh, May 11. Yes, right. yes. There's two Saturdays involved also. Nine to five on Saturdays. Yeah, don't Eight be to five during the week. And three locations. Three locations. Check out the website, the county's website for the locations, and we I'll periodically announce them on this show as well. Tony, Tony thank yeah, you. Thank you. Usually yeah. I send you out with uh, the Notre Dame uh, theme song. Today I'm going to give you some Dean Martin because Hornby has switched oh, to a vowel. He's a good guy. Yeah. yeah. Good, good. What do you think? Can't beat that. <laughs> <laughs> 